Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another video on my channel. In this video, we will talk about how to learn data science and we will do so step by step. So let's start right ahead with the first step, knowing your foundation. I made a segmentation here, that is, people who have neither a statistical nor mathematical background and people who have a statistical or mathematical background. No matter which of those groups you are, you will learn most of the maths and stats by doing during your journey. That does not mean that you can succeed getting into data science without any math and stats. So a solid mathematical and statistical knowledge is mandatory. But what I'm trying to say is you should not waste your time doing like 100 preliminary courses on that. For those having no background in statistics or math, my recommendation is to focus on the following topics. First one is to learn very basic algebra, e.g. vectors and matrices and know how matrix calculations work. Second one is basic calculus. So you should have an idea about the usage of gradients and to calculate derivatives and what they are used for. Last but not least, and maybe the most important one, is to have an idea about statistic measures, like the mean, median, variance, standard deviation, and the best case, you have some idea about distributions, like the normal distribution. If you have an education in statistics or math, I have some good news for you. Of course, you should only refresh your knowledge. And if you have a math-only background, you should read yourself through basic descriptive statistics and statistical inference. All in all, someone with a statistical background will have an easier and faster access to data science, nearly followed by someone who has a mathematical background, followed by someone who has neither nor of those backgrounds. That doesn't mean that you can't make it into data science without that. But you are starting from a lower level which doesn't mean that you can outdistance those two backgrounds. So just keep on being motivated and everything will be fine. Let's jump to the next step, which is building your technical skill set. For the first point, I'm really looking forward to have your opinion on that. In my, you should be a professional Excel user, meaning that you know how to use conditionals, a variety of useful functions, such as VLOOKUP, INDEX, MATCH, and so on and so forth and to handle pivot tables. Also, you should be able to visualize data with Excel. That doesn't mean that you're just marking data and then plotting them, but you should also be able to do the right amendments with some visualizations. So I'm really looking forward for your opinion on that. Secondly, you should learn a programming language. I'm going into detail on the next slides on that. It should be some of the data science relevant languages, which are in the moment, Python, R, and Java. This list could be longer, but I'm keeping it simple here. These are in the moment, the most important data science languages. My recommendation is to use Python. It's highly recommended. Why? You have a huge community of support. You have very useful data science libraries. You have a huge demand in job ads, and it's easy to learn. By the way, R is even easier to learn, but I'm recommending Python. Let us dive a bit deeper into programming. So what you will read everywhere, you are able to learn Python in a short period of time, which might be true, but to be really confident using Python in all its data science libraries will take you a huge amount of time. So don't over expect your progress by setting totally unrealistic time horizons. Also, you should follow a step-by-step -step approach, and after each step, which should be, for example, the basic syntax of Python, you should apply your knowledge. Meaning, if you're following my tutorials, you should always open up your terminal or your shell and typing in what I'm doing and try to understand what's happening. Also, do not get stuck in senseless basics and concepts. Again and again, there will be upcoming concepts which you are not getting, for example, in community groups, and you are always thinking, well, this is something I have to know. No. Stick on your progress. There are many nice-to-knows in Python. Many, many, many nice-to-knows. But knowing everything of them is just a waste of time. So focus on the core. Focus on basic Python, focus on functions, and focus on data science libraries. So let us name those libraries which you have to master. This is Pandas for data analysis, manipulation, selection, preparation, and exploration, Matplotlib and Seaborn for visualization, exploration, and pattern finding, and NumPy for efficient calculation, randomizing stuff, and seeding. The next step is probably the most important one. Get your hands dirty. 
So apply your programming knowledge to real data. And my recommended source for that is Kaggle and online stock data. Also, you should start with small data sets. So to keep an overview of your data, understand what's actually happening, what you're doing right now. Don't start at really large data sets. You will lose overview and you will lose motivation by that. The next step is to get at least basic database knowledge. That means that you should know the difference between an SQL and a NoSQL database. You should also know at least the basics of some queries in SQL. And a pretty nice project to approach to that is to connect Python with an SQL database. I will cover that in upcoming tutorials, no worries. Let's move to the next step, and you all have been waiting for that, right? So this is the approach to machine learning. So where to start? Well, you should know some basics, like the difference between supervised and unsupervised learning. And also, you should understand when to use which one to which data. After that, you could try to use the libraries which you already know to implement these algorithms. For example, use NumPy for a simple linear regression, which we did in our tutorials. After that, move to sklearn, so scikit-learn, to apply this regression and you will get the same results. If you don't, you are doing something wrong. sklearn is maybe the most important library for machine learning. Not deep learning, but for machine learning. So once you have mastered the linear regression in sklearn, move to more complex regressions and more complex machine learning algorithms. As before, do one step after another and of course understand the concept behind your application. So read about the algorithm you are applying to understand what's actually happening. Once you've mastered at least five machine learning algorithms, meaning that you have understand them and you have applied them, you can move to the further steps here. And these are, for example, an approach to deep learning. So you could read yourself into deep learning algorithms like backpropagation, FNN, CNN, and many, many more. After that, you could start to apply them by using TensorFlow, KRS, or PyTorch. What I also want to share with you, as it really helped me to get a job in data science, is to have some basic knowledge about cloud technologies, such as MS Azure or AWS. So be sure to have at least an idea of what it is and how can it help companies to improve their processes. Also, you should take a look at big data frameworks such as Spark and Hadoop to understand data infrastructures even better. Finally, let me give you some last remarks on learning data science. So you have to be patient but hardworking meaning you can't expect results by just doing it like one time a week for two hours. Also, you will get to some points where you think you are not making any progress at all. But if you are persistent, I promise you, you will get to the next level. So you should never ever give up and of course have fun by learning data science. And also I'm wishing you good luck in landing a job in data science. I know it's hard, but if you keep on going, you will get to your job in data science. I'm pretty sure about that. With that being said, I'm really looking forward to your comments and to see you in the upcoming videos. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.